Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you was too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. learning to control them better. That felt good. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? All right. Oh, he could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Uh, up you go. Hey, it was just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. Or pin it on Joyce. Yeah, he might as well take the blame for the mess he made. Time felt broken here. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. 
Yeah, Let's see if I grab I it for you. Person. Interesting. Somebody said it's because they both got powers. Yeah, she got but I heard it was something personal too. What is the deal with Serene anyway? I mean, I thought Hatch was the big boss. Well, he is and he ain't. Hatch is the public face. Serene's the real boss. He likes to keep a low profile. Stop the radar tower. At the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? <laughs> you have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. Good evening. You weren't expecting somebody to stream. Let's give Monarch the audience he deserves. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to ensure we maintain control over our path. Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah, I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with me to make it.
Dr. Hammerall's office. Looks like that's one level up. <clears throat> Possible. Possible. I've adjusted, I've adjusted the, flight the flight controls, controls so the drone, drone will crash, crash into the villa. Into the villa. Under order. That was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing sure the monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. Device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon damp. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time with any. Uh, uh, that was close. Dr. Hammerall's office. Looks like that's one level up. The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero.
some goddamn weakness. It was clear that Monarch had been building the Chronon technology for years. They were prepared for the fracture. None of it would have been possible without the CFR. Which way is Amon's office? Oh, hello? This isn't the usual employee route. I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. Dr. Amaral's office must be close. <sighs> no alarms. No. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. <sighs> nice job, Beth.
That's Amaral's office. Yeah, Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly, less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Amaral's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. I had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't. <laughs> 